I can do that at this point. I can. I can do all kinds of stuff at this point. I'm going to use metallic gold. I'm going to use a little bit of gray. Touch of gray kind of suits us anyway. Darker, slightly darker colors. Get some of this dark blue. Some green. That way, we did that enough. It kind of splattered into that blue in <laughs> rather an odd manner, but hopefully everything's okay. A little of this metallic teal. Oh, it's so I, I have been used. I used to use this all the time, and I kind of got out of the habit. A little bit more of the gold. And we'll just do it. Actually, I think I'll just do it. Oh, hey, you Mert. Look, I'm pouring. <laughs> it's like, look, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, the only canvas I'd prep for pouring was this one. I kind of wish it was a long, thin one, but, you know, I had this one done, and I didn't want to take the extra time. We're going to try two flip cups on this guy. Yes, two flip cups. Um, with the idea of sort of like um, ground and sky is what I'm thinking. It may not work out that way, but that's how we're going to start it. I'm going to do a base coat. I'm going to do a split base coat as well. I'm going to do white and black as the base coat. I didn't put any black in this, in, in the cups. I figured I'd, I'd do the cups first, then the colors can sort of sit there while we're doing this part. We'll put some black here in the bottom. Make sure we've got plenty to work with here. Seems to be a little off kilter. I'm not sure if I've got this sitting on here right or if there's some other issue with it. It's just the way it's sitting there. All right, now well, let's uh, spread, the, spread this, <laughs> spread the love around and uh, I'll do the white first. I've got a little blue on this, but I think that might be okay. I need to actually enhance that a bit. Let's get that on there. Oh, it's still rocking like crazy, isn't it? Well, not like crazy. It's rocking a little bit. Sometimes the way to do things is just to do them, you know? Which I think this is the bottom, right? That's got the darker color. <laughs> well, that well, I could have just reversed it, I guess. But. How to do this? I think I'll just uh, I'll take a. How do I want to do this? I'm about just turning it upside down. It might run a little bit though. Eh. We'll just uh, we'll just go uh, hell for leather and turn it over. One, two, three. Mix, missed it a bit. Well, such is life. I'll scoop that up later and use it for something. It's a nice pristine thing. I shouldn't have attempted that in my somewhat virus-ridden state. better on that one. Didn't at least get it down the side. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of some air bubbles. I think I think I've got to try real fast. Don't want to cook the paint, but might as well get rid of the air bubbles first. Oh, that's pretty already.
Do a bit of tilting here. Hopefully I got the right things in the right spot. If I didn't, though, I didn't. Can't be overly concerned about these things. Let's rock it a bit. Today I feel it's an achievement just to be here, and that's how I'm going to look at it today. Today is all about just having some, <laughs> having some fun. Now, I kind of like that disappearing into the black, so I don't know if I'm going to tilt that too much more down there. I kind of like that. I'm not sure about those green things. Those are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Let's wreck those. Where's <laughs> All right, where's the fork? I'm going to wreck those, uh, those green things. Not much like those. We'll just uh, tear through that a little bit more up more because I don't want it to go I, I like the idea of it ending with that black I don't want to get too much into that so let's leave that as it is here we go that is getting there now that's top layer do I want to blow it or swipe it go either way Go either way on that sort of thing. I think I'll I think I'll use the, the blower a bit first. You can always swipe that. Can I need to turn it up? that right on out of there. <laughs> Let's just lay that back down there like that didn't happen, huh? Let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Got a lot of excess paint here, so I'm just going to sit here for a minute and get rid of it. Don't need all that paint on there. Decided I don't have quite enough paint here. I think what I might do, I think I'm going to try and lift that. Sometimes, too, you've got little bits left in there. I think I'll try and lift some of this back into this cup and put it back on the canvas where it belongs. Let's try that. We'll just do a little funny sort of thing there. I might even uh, do something with that. I like this. Not too sure about that part. Get some paint on on up here because it didn't it didn't quite have enough paint there at the edge. I didn't have enough on the bottom there to see that through. All right, we're just we're just gonna cheat on that one. Well, is that got enough now to come over there, or is it just gonna stick there? That's not really sticking at least. At this point, we're doing just just trying to cover the canvas. We're not doing anything else fancy at the moment. Just getting the paint. It's swooshed around there, then we'll see what we got. I like this, but the lines go a little funky. So let's see if we can, uh, which way now? I want to get those lines down. So I want to bring this back up a bit on that corner. I'm going to try and even out these lines a little bit there. Is that, oh, that's, well, that's more even, isn't it? That's not too bad. Unfortunately, the part I like on the sky is the part I don't like on the ground. So I'm going to have to uh, think about that for a minute there. Let's bring that up a little more. A little more, a little more. Too much? No, just kidding. Okay, and we're going to bring that to, the, I'm going to bring this to the side and try and get rid of some of this. All right, that looks funny. Let's see what we got here now. 
Is that looking more seascapey? I think it might be. Probably need to do something about foam. This already looks like a little bluff or something up there. Got a couple little air bubbles. Let's let's pop those devils. At least this one. Oh, it popped on its own. It knew I was coming and committed suicide. Oh no! Pop yourself. She's coming. All right. Clearly, I should. <laughs> Isn't it? I know. I'm not. I'm not displaced already. And I never say that. I never go look. It looks fine. I'm thinking we might even leave it. Uh, the only thing I'd like to do is maybe add a little foam here along the bottom to make it look a little more, uh, as you say, a little more seascapey. Got all this paint here on the side. We should be able to use that. Add a little, maybe add a little more white to it and uh, use that. And we'll do a layer of foam here. I said those already look like gloves, so nothing to do there really. All right, let's come along here and we'll put our foam in. Then I'll blow that with the uh, with the straw to get the foam moved around a little bit. Goodness! <laughs> well, here I was thinking I didn't have enough time and. And this didn't take long. But you know, sometimes I mess around with it as long as it initially took. Let's get this, uh, I said just a line of foam where the foam's occurring naturally. We'll just add a little more to it. I like it. It's got a almost a forlorn, lonely sort of look that I really quite like. Maybe it's my mood. But I like that sky, it looks very evocative to me. Well, I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> okay. Probably we might want to add a little foam here and there too. This part looks a little funky. I think I might just put a little line through there. Sometimes that green does really bizarre, bizarre things. So any place I see a weird sort of thing, I'll just put a little line in there, like a little line of foam would be fine. This a little thing. I'll probably blow out that bluff a little bit, make it look a little more like a bluff. But for now, we'll go ahead and do this line of foam. I might want to turn that. Do you want to turn it? i to be very careful turning it. I'll do something stupid. That looks like a bit of foam there even. Now over here, to me, this part looks like more the bluff. But then that, sort of that, that line looks funky though. And let's try just a little blowing on the bluff here. Just want to try, take it, there's a couple of bubbles, we're just going to try and pop those. Okay, not too bad. Some weird little dotty thing there, but I'm not too sure why it's there. Let me turn it back around. Oh. Okay, that did define the bluff a little bit more. I like the sky. I like it. I feel like it just sort of poured out of me, you know? This line here could be a little straighter. It kind of bows back up there. Not sure we need to do much about it, but I can try and bring that corner down a little more. It wouldn't hurt nothing, in theory. It's not moving much. That's probably a good sign then. I 
I'm not sure what just happened there. I feel like I lost my, uh, lost a bit of that bluff. Let me, uh, must have a bit more paint in there than I realized. Pour it out of me. Yes, it did. Pun, pun intended. Okay, now this line is kind of going upward now in a way that I do not find satisfactory. So let's see if we can uh, blow this bluff in such a way that it evens that out there. Otherwise, we're going to have to do something because it's kind of going up now on a... Now that I see it like this, it's kind of going up like that. I don't think it did before. I don't know what happened quite there. Must have been when, maybe when I went to flip it, it um, got a little high up there. Oh, the other thing we can do, we can move this one up higher. You can't lower the bridge, lower, you can't lower the bridge, raise the something. <laughs> you can't lower the one side, we'll raise the other side. Just so that evens back out there. Now our bluff looks really bizarre now, so we're going to have to do some work on that. But is that more straight across? It's not absolutely straight, but the bluff uh, messes with the, the line anyway. So that part, if it's not totally straight, is not that big a deal. We still have some dark paint in here. We can use that for our, to define the top of our bluff here. We have some nice leftover paint we can put in there. All it really needs is the top line. The rest of it, it it's fine just the way it is, you know. The rest of it is just the details on the bluff. It was just the, uh, the top line looked a little off. Might blow that out a little bit as well. Okay, I think that's straighter. Sky still looks good. See if we can grab this a little more of a... More detail on that bluff. This settled in a little darker for the foam, but I'm going to probably live with that. Still looks like foam, that's what matters. Now, is there anything else we want to do to it? Because now would be the time. Still goes up a tiny bit on that corner. I'm not sure if we can fix that. I can try. See, it should be more like here. That part should come down there. Let's see if we can just do it this way. I don't want to touch that too much. Let's come this way. I'm thinking if I can just bring this down, this one side. We can add some other color in there. If we can just bring it down. Actually, I kind of like that white underneath because it looks a little bit like uh, it's a little bit like foam underneath there. It didn't really do it there. But this part, that's what it did. Okay. All right, so I think if we add more, now it's straighter across at least. It doesn't go up there at the end like it was doing, which did not look right at all. That made, boy, that sure made it nice and straight. Now we'll see if we want to add some more, maybe some more color in there. Add some more sky color in there. Not plenty of that still mixed in here. That looks almost like a cloud bank forming up there, up in here. Could be another layer of bluff, I suppose. I 
that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't really do anything. I mean, in terms of uh, blowing it out or anything, but it's kind of interesting. Let's mix that in there. I think that fixed that problem. And now it's nice and straight across there. So we're losing a little bit. I might want to add just a little more light tones there to that foam. But this part I might leave. I might leave just like that. That one pretty well. Yeah, straight like this. Not by much though. It's pretty straight. Now, I'm not sure about this one line here, if we want to blow that out, if that looks cloudy enough. I'm afraid to move it now after what happened the last time. Last time I moved it, I lost my horizon line. sure I'm doing that any good so maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should just leave that alone actually it does look a little more like clouds doing that that didn't hurt it too much let's see if we come back over this way I think it's getting a little hard to move as well that's fine All right, so maybe just add like I said a little more light color down there in the foam Lost a little bit there. Yeah, it's a productive 24 minutes, huh? Expected this to take a lot longer. Came out here going, boy, I don't know if I have enough time. So the little touches of white, I think, here and there. Kind of brighten this foam up a little bit, maybe. When we started losing it. You could even do like a little foamy sort of thing in there. My foam goes sometimes, you know. It goes that way. As I often quote Laura Anderson, it goes that way. straw again. Not sure which straw I used last. Okay. I like that little trailing foam. Um, that came out okay. And here we've got some sort of bluff like thing going on there. We can maybe add some trees or something after that dries. Might be able to put a little bit of foam around the bottom of that bluff. Let's see what we've got. I mean, we've got the color there. We could do that. I have to blow on that as well, but that's okay. Let's so give it a little more of a demarcation between the uh, the bluff part and the ocean part. And it gets a little, you know, I mean the waves come up on the bluff and uh, kind of, you know, they hit the rocks on the bluff and make little foamy things, so it sort of makes sense. I might not blow on that. That's working out pretty well, just doing a more gentle. I blow on it, it tends to get bigger. If I do it this way, I can kind of control it. right about this section but I think to try and change it I might really really mess it up so maybe this might be one of those cases where I should just leave it the way it is 
little more brightness in the foam. Maybe just do a touch here and there, a white in that under that bluff thing. Not too sure why the bluff thing has white in it as well. I might want to, I might want to mess around with this part a little bit. I'm gonna try to blow, blow on that a little bit. Not sure that's quite doing what I want, but you can uh, mess with that a bit. Right now, what I wanted is maybe just get just here and there a little dash of white with foam underneath there, but not. I don't want to really get a lot of it in there, but just every once in a while. I don't want a whole solid line of white, but I just want a little bit that looks like a little foam, maybe little foamy things now and then are hitting the rocks that are underneath this bluff. I'm not real happy with this white here, so I think I might see if I've got enough color. I might just see if I can just overlay that a little bit. And get my bluff looking a little darker than what it looks at the moment. At least in places. That can be like foliage coming down on the bluff or something. At the top there. So we can add some trees or something. Yeah, that's a little less. It can have some white in it, but I didn't feel the amount of white it had was appropriate. I'm not too sure. This one line is kind of bothering me, so I think I'll just uh, put a line across there. I said sometimes this, I love the lime green, but it does funky stuff, which sometimes, you know, is pretty cool. Pretty cool funky stuff. Sometimes you go, yeah, that's too, that's crossed the line of being too funky. better. A little more. I like this. I, li I like the moody colors of this. I was just wondering if I like the way I originally I kind of like that, but now I'm thinking I I think that looks funny at going off there. Maybe put a little black there, but have it. Uh, I think that might look better to kind of cover that with a little black and have it soft there. So let's try adding a little more there. I want to create a little bit. I don't like it really just flowing off there quite to that degree. You never know how you're going to feel about these things, but I feel like it just, uh, it was drawing your eye down off the canvas, and that didn't seem like something I wanted to do. If I do that, though, I probably need to add a little more foam to it to have it make sense there. But that's fine. We can do it. We've got foam. Foam is fine. Add a little foam here to the edge and blow on that. And we've created a little stoppage for it so it doesn't, doesn't, pour you right off the canvas. There. I think that's better. All right. What if we... Should we not touch this anymore? I think maybe we shouldn't touch this anymore. I think we should very carefully move this someplace where it can safely sit there and not 